recently somebody asked me a question that why is it so difficult to stay motivated in life why is it so difficult to stay happy in life why is it so difficult to stay fresh in life why 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 and if that is the case then how do we be positive in life how do we stay motivated how do we stay ever energized in life all right so that's what we are going to discuss today in this video hopefully in short <laughs> So this is another playlist which I have. Uh, it's named as self motivation. So I guess this is the fourth video in the playlist. So if you want more of you know stuff related to self motivation, then you can watch this playlist also. All right, and if you are new to the channel, then please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want a consultation from me, then you can go down to the website below in the description section. The link I mean, okay. And before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him and. you will find him and he will help you become more positive so now the question is why is it so difficult to be positive in life because by default by default means by default <laughs> this material world as lord krishna says in the gita is dukhalaya mashashvatam where we uh, it means that without spiritual awakening without spiritual practices in our life by default it is a place of misery now of course when we do spiritual practices then also the misery can be there but we get above it rather than staying in it okay but most of the people are not in that platform so what happens is by default all the time there is negativity for example just go and uh, see somebody who is walking in the street or suppose you are in a bus you see two people talking what 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 they will be talking most of the times they'll be either talking of uh, which cricket team won the match or which football team won the match or they will be talking about uh, who is going to win the elections in india in 2019 hopefully <laughs> yes when is the world war going to happen or who is having an affair with whom yes who is the latest uh, cinema star whose movie has come out so majority of the times most of the people they only discuss the useless rubbish garbage of this world they discuss things on which they have zero control like discussing who will win the cricket match i mean for god sake can you go and hit some six and four there no you can't but still you discuss it and you waste time because you have nothing else to do that's how you waste your time because that's what you find value in so this gossip there is politics there's a lot of nonsense useless rubbish garbage which goes on most of the times in the mundane circles so because of that even if we are good we are positive but it becomes very difficult to remain positive it is like there was this story once um, there was an elephant and uh, there was a he elephant and she elephant so <coughs> so there is this rangana temple in south india it's very famous uh, anand padmanab uh, lord vishnu is lying there huh? so what happens is when the uh, when there are ceremonies in the temple then the elephants are called where they will you know put their trunks and they will also shout sometimes ranga ranga <laughs> so uh, one day this ceremony was supposed to go on and this elephant and his uh, wife <laughs> these two uh, elephants were going to a pond and a pond or river and they were cleaning their bodies big bodies elephant bodies and then what happened was suddenly a pig came from nowhere and that pig challenged this uh, male elephant hey you <laughs> what do you think of yourself you have this big body if you dare then fight with me i'll defeat you i will finish you i will rip you off today and now this elephant if he wants he can just go and you know trample on this pig and he will be dead that moment itself but what this elephant does is he chooses to walk away from it and then this pig is shouting hey you you can't do this you can't run away like this you are a coward blah 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 
and then the wife of this elephant is asking my dear husband uh, don't you think that you know it's going beyond out of control don't you think you should teach him a lesson i mean you are my husband you know you should you should rip him apart and one kick you give he will be finished and then this elephant replied that see my dear my dear wife <laughs> that we are chosen for a divine purpose yes that is for service of lord vishnu we have been chosen for that we are so lucky and because of that we have come in this river to clean ourselves now if i go and fight with this dirty pig which keeps uh dwindling in stool and urine and you know garbage yes we all know where pigs stay so then we will become dirty again and again i have to go to clean myself then again he will come and challenge again i have to go and clean myself so let us not forget the higher purpose that we came here to clean our bodies so that we can offer some service to lord vishnu that's the purpose the purpose of coming here is not to fight with this dirty pig that's not our purpose because tomorrow today this pig is challenging tomorrow some dog will challenge day after tomorrow some donkey will challenge maybe some day a lion comes and challenges so then will you keep fighting with each of them no it doesn't uh, befit us to do like this so then the wife uh, understood that yeah yeah you know it's not good we should not waste time and then this couple they went directly to the ranga temple and then this pig was totally angry he was frustrated he was you know he could not vent out his anger he was envious of the elephant basically and uh, that's a very big lesson that there can be negativity in this world but we do not have to put our hands inside that okay so if there is a garbage then we can, if we see the garbage then we don't have to go and jump there we can just see and we can just pass away from it so if we want to be positive and motivated in life then we have to first of all distance ourselves from people who keep discussing about the useless rubbish garbage stuff of this world and we have to distance ourselves doesn't mean that we block them or we do not uh, talk with them but we have to limit our connections and then on the positive side see just by not talking to people who are negative the problem is not solved because then the question comes that what do i do then i have nothing to do the only thing i do is i don't do anything right i don't talk to him i don't talk to that i don't talk to she <laughs> who do you talk to then what do you do well the answer is that we try to associate with spiritual people who have the knowledge of the scriptures like the bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam especially or they can be from any other religion also but uh, they should be uh, knowing the conclusion of the scriptures and they should be following yes they can he can be a christian also he can be a muslim also we have no there is absolutely no issue with that but uh, irrespective of that person's origin if the person is gossiping or discussing unnecessary things then we will not be able to be positive with them because that will agitate our mind yes who is having an affair he is having an affair with her you know what she is doing what he is doing for god sake what about you <laughs> yes so we distance ourselves from people who are spreading poison and venom and on the positive side when we go out during the day in the morning we listen to spiritual lectures which are given by sadhus by spiritual speakers or by your own guru or by anybody who are, who you are inspired by yes they they may be spiritual lectures or they can be any uplifting content which you find somewhere in youtube but it should be good content it should not be just that you know they are discussing your politics and uh this uh, bollywood hollywood yes it's hollow that's why they call it hollywood <laughs> so uh we have to distance ourselves and then in the morning we put good inputs let's not uh, waste time uh, doing unnecessary things in the morning yes checking facebook checking whatsapp checking instagram whatsapp we can check because there could be some messages which come like some messages have come to my whatsapp now <laughs> but 
things like you know facebook instagram where people they only post the fake things of their life yes like they will post things like greatest moment of my life can't get better than this hashtag yes hashtag on cloud nine hashtag time of my life but most of the people are miserable if there is no spiritual wisdom then they are miserable because they are crying inside yes their hearts are pierced with desires and their mind is filled with anxiety and still they say cheers <laughs> most of the people at least i know of in this material world they are they are dying out of anxiety and they are hankering for things which they cannot have and they are lamenting for things which they have lost all right so instead of doing all these things in the morning as soon as we get up we should chant mantras om namo bhagavate vasudevaya we should chant shlokas you can take the first shloka from the shrimad bhagavatam and you can chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya janmadyasya yathonvaya ditaratas chartheshu bhigyaswarat tene brahma hridaya dikavaye muhyanti atasuraya tejo vali mridam yatha vinimayo stri sargo mrisha Dham na sve na nirasta kuhakam satyam param adhimahi Or you can hear the Vishnu Sastra Naam. Yes, you can download the audio from YouTube or any other place. Yes, shuklam baladaram vishnum shashi varanam chatur bhujam Don't just hear the audio, you should know the lyrics also. Okay, like you can uh, download uh, songs like the Brahma Samhita. That's also there in YouTube. Chinta mani prakara sadma sukalpa vriksha Lakshavritesusurabherabhipalayantam <laughs> So, when we do all these things, we hear good things and we also know. We, are, we should also know what the songs mean, okay? So, we just don't mechanically just keep hearing, okay, I know the Vishnu Sasanam, I memorize. But do you know what the verses mean? Do you know what each and every word means? Yes, thousand names of Vishnu. Yes, Brahma Samhita. You can recite shlokas from the Gita. In Gita, there are wonderful shlokas. Like there's a shloka which says, you know, Yoga Kshemam Bahamyam. So Krishna says, whoever takes shelter of me, I protect what they have, I preserve what they have, and I carry what they lack. So whatever you need in life, if you take shelter of Krishna, he will provide. And whatever you are having, he will preserve it existing. Yes, in your uh, current life. Of course, if he thinks things are not good for you, then he will remove it from your life. And if he thinks that there are situations which need to come into your life to improve you spiritually, internally as a person, then he will do that also. Yes. And even there are so many places where Krishna says how he protects those who take his shelter. Krishna also says, yes, Name Bhaktiya Pranashati. Kontya Prati Janihi Name Bhaktiya Pranashati. That's what Krishna says. Krishna says to Arjuna that. Oh, Arjuna boldly declare that my devotee will never perish. One who has taken shelter of me. Yes, so if you just read one sloka from the Gita every day, it's like a power-packed session which you have. So then your whole day will be positive. Yes, you can chant mantras like Om Namo Narayanaya. This mantra is very good for cleansing. Any internal problem you have, you do this mantra, the problem goes away. Within... Within 40 days, you will start seeing uh, results, okay? Just do it 108 times every day. In a mala, you do it. So, these mantras you can chant. You can hear lectures of spiritual personalities. You can read the scriptures. Yes? These are the things if you do in the morning, it will be like a power-packed session which you have. And then when you go out, you need to be cautious about, uh, about who, with whom to associate and with whom not to associate. All right? Try to find people who are a bit spiritually, uh, they are bit, they don't uh, hate spiritual topics. Try to find such people who, who you can, you know, cultivate. Because you may not have spiritual association in your company or in your uh, business. But if you don't have association, you create it. So whenever you meet people, you know, you try to talk of uh, things like Rama and things like Mahabharata. You can talk of Gita, Shlokas. You can tell, hey, you know, today I was reading the Gita. Krishna said this. And then that person may be, oh yeah, Krishna said, okay, nice. Not bad. <laughs> he may not be like, oh, Krishna said, yeah, yeah, tell me now. <laughs> 
but he may also not be like ah krishna is saying god go to hell krishna doesn't exist this is all nonsense i don't believe so there are many people who are neutral and positive okay there are people who will be extremely averse to our spiritual practices in our office and we cannot do anything much about them so we need to distance ourselves from them and we need to just keep official relation with them official relation means we just maintain a we just maintain contact but do not share our hearts with them okay or we don't do it very extensively because then they have the power to influence us and then those who are neutral positive which means that with whom we can discuss spiritual topics with them we should associate and if you find people on the other side who are already very spiritual they are doing spiritual practices wow that's a great blessing of god but even if you don't have that you will find many people who are neutral positive which means they are okay with discussing spiritual topics you will find at least in india that's the good thing you know wherever you are in uh you are in hyderabad or delhi bombay at least one person you will definitely find it's that's something good about india at least till as of now that great culture is there okay so when we associate with them we talk about uh, the spiritual topics with them and we ask them what practices they are doing and how they have been benefited and we share our things and in the weekends we associate uh, specifically with spiritual communities which are there in our city or in our town or in our village all right so daily morning we do spiritual practices internally and during the day we maintain caution and with people who we should not associate and then we associate with those people who have a tendency to talk spiritual topics and in the weekends we charge our system we go to a satsang program we go to a temple we see the archa vigra form of god okay we see the dt we take darshan of god and then we take prasad there and then we discuss spiritual topics with our god brothers or our god sisters or our guru or anybody like that okay so that is how we can remain positive just by giving quotes on positivity be positive you know that sign is in a b plus it doesn't work like that if it was so easy then there would be no suicides there nobody would ever get depressed nothing would ever happen yes but it doesn't work it has not worked it will not work like that just by writing affirmations you know oh, be positive positivity comes when you are with the source of positivity which is god so if the source is only not there suppose you are freezing in the winter you want to get some heat you have to go to a heater right or to a place where there is fire if you if you don't know what the source is then how will you get the energy so it's not possible to be positive just by sitting and being yourself you think like this oh you know from today i'll be positive you know i'll only think good have you tried it doesn't work man it, it doesn't work like that it never works like that you can be positive for some time but if that higher awareness of spirituality is not there then it's just a matter of time you will meet somebody oh you know india defeated pakistan yeah pakistan is finished and then next day pakistan defeats india so then oh i am sad again you see positivity is gone so that's how it happens all right so the more we increase our spiritual uh, powers our spiritual quotient then the more we will be positive because we will be with the source of all positivity and as the scripture say na raso vai saha that the absolute truth lord vishnu is the source of all pleasure okay so that is how we actually stay positive and motivated in this world okay rather than just saying you know be positive be plus you know yes you can do it rather than writing such affirmations you can write all those things there's no problem it's not sinful you don't go to hell if you write all those things i am not criticizing them what i'm saying is they are alone not enough they will only help you those big big affirmations like law of attraction etc all this all these fake things which are there in youtube yes law of attraction just think and things will manifest no it, it doesn't work like that <laughs> you have to act on it also okay with the power of spiritual vision only then things happen all right and that too it will happen as per it is there in your own karma so we should not expect unrealistic things from life okay and then when we know our limits then we know that we can be positive within this domain okay 
so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation please go down to my website below okay until next time bye bye see you